Good morning, everybody. It is Jasmine here, and I'm bringing you something new today. I am bringing you a new game called One Shot. And I know very little about this game because uh, all the reviews I have read about it has said, don't look at reviews, don't do anything. This game is so fantastic, it's so amazing um, that you just need to play it. And I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's play it. So I, I really don't have any idea of what's going on other than the fact that it's a um, another one of those games that's kind of change the way that gaming is the same way that Undertale did and I'm kind of excited about that because I really enjoyed Undertale so I'm gonna try this game so we're just gonna jump right into it Move that out of the way. There you go. Woo! and we're like a cat person meow H hello oh cool so this is us this is us right now we're walking around and uh it looks like we have a tv input password um access denied okay that's not our password apparently got some dusty books too dark what's this and there's a tv remote okay so my name is nico interesting 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 okay so my name is nico uh it's pretty dark in here it's my bed let's go off my bed Okay, this is my bathroom. It's a withered plant, stiff and dry. Oh. And now I have a branch, okay. Oh, wow. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. That's me, dum-dum. There's no water in the toilet, which is weird. Where am I? Is this even my house? Okay, so, um... Maybe I can use the dry branch? To, uh... The flicky branch and remote too hard to read in the dark. Okay, so I have a branch. Can I? Okay, I can't unlock the door with it. Uh, I'm guessing there's something to do with this computer. So I guess let's just start typing in passwords, right? One one one. Okay, access denied. So anything here maybe that will uh, correspond to it? Let's see, maybe one two three four. So that's the password, right? No. Oh God. All right, so. Um, it's pretty dark in here. We get a television remote. All right, let's start spamming it. Just, is there a TV around here somewhere, maybe? Um, maybe I could use this branch to uh, get the toilet flowing. I'm not sure anymore now. Okay, let's see. Looks like there's some loose floorboards already. Soft light trickles through. Okay, so, um... Interesting. Okay, so I guess we're, we're in this house. We just woke up and there's a computer. And unfortunately, the computer doesn't seem to be doing anything. Can I yell out the window for help? Come on, somebody. A f dry, flaky branch from the bathroom. And it's too, too hard to read in dark light. Maybe if I take this to the... In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. Oh, shit. All the numbers except 6948 are missing. 6948. Oh, wait. Let's look at it again. 6948. Okay. Good God. I'm such an idiot. So, this, I think this is 6... It corresponds to the colors. All right, so I know the six is a uh, yellow color. All right, oh, come, on. come on. There you go, we're an idiot, okay. The nine is red, green is four, eight is blue. All right, nine is red. This is eight. There we go. Oh, thank God. Okay, that took forever. Okay, so okay. You found me. Why? <laughs> You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you only have one shot, Jazzy. Oh shit, and everything uh just went into a little tiny full screen. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, well, that happened. Nico hears the sound of the door unlocking. 
All right, so uh, an actual window popped up, and it says only have one shot. Only one shot to live. All right, let's do it. Oh, God. Hello? Anyone? Interesting. TV gives off a dangerous-looking spark. Okay, that's not good. What's in the fireplace? The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. Aha! That's where my dry branch comes in handy. All right, so I guess I, I guess I have to use this. Oh, I, get, I know what to do. Here you go. Watch. Nico readies the branch. Doesn't manage to light. Oh, okay. But it was a good effort, right? Sink won't turn on. Is there anything in the fridge? Bottle of alcohol. All right, now I know what to do. So we take the bottle of alcohol. Got a wet branch. Now we go over here again. See, things are becoming a bit more, uh... A bit more easy to comprehend. There we go. Oh, what's this? Something on the ground grimaces in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic ob object wedged into the crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. What was it? Basement key. Oh. Looks like we have a bottle now, so we could probably use it to uh, maybe... Get, like, water or something? Is this where the basement keys works? I don't know. Right, let's just let's take a look around, maybe. Let's let's look around. Maybe there's other things here that I'm not seeing. Oh god. Right, before we go down there, because that's scary as shit. Man, I like my eyes. Okay, let's use this empty bottle. Maybe I can use this empty bottle over here in this uh. So it looks like there's like, you know, sp space for something. I guess it's not a bottle. Alright, let's uh let's boogie. Interesting. I do like that transition. Where it's just, you know, your eyes are glowing and shit. It's pretty cool. Alright. I'm coming down here. Things are going okay so far. And, oh! It's a light bulb. Sweet. Let's grab that. Oh, there's that light bulb that's in the uh, intro of the game. Okay, that's something we're going to be carrying around for us. With us for around a long time. And oh, look at it, it's lit! Very cool and very- oh god. Wait, can we not- Can we go forward maybe? No, we can't. Okay. So now we have ourselves a light bulb. What we'll do with it, we'll probably use it to um, insert into that door. and Maybe that will open the door for us. Maybe things will look different now that we actually have a light bulb. Um, not so much, I guess. Does things look different in the bedroom with the light bulb? Let's see. I guess not. Okay. Well, we have a light bulb. What we do with it, I don't know. And I, I feel like very, um, feel guilty for leaving the, uh, the fireplace on as we leave because that could, you know, burn down the house. Hopefully it will just burn itself out and nothing else, but you know, it could it could be worse. Oh god, what was that? What's left of the computer terminal? Okay. Was someone else here? Whoa. Whoa. Is that a tower? What in the world? Fast travel! You can quickly travel to locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel options in the menu. The default key for opening the menu is A. Cannot be used indoors. Alright, so... We lived in this, like, weird bus station. Which looks like a little bus, but I guess it's not, right? Can I talk to you? A robot. It no longer has power. Interesting. Are you a robot without power, too? What's left of a robot? Okay. Oh, look how gorgeous this is. Another robot. Poor sweet robots. Okay, well, I guess I'll follow... We'll just take a peek around our neck of the woods. There might be something here. Or something over there, for sure. Okay, let's, um... Just gonna kind of look around where we're at. Oh, God. Oh. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, who are you? Hello? 
Hello? Oh, I think it's it's another robot that's dead. Okay. Um. Oh, this is new. It's a broken off section of railing. Okay, so I got a railing section. And here's another bed. This bed probably looks familiar to you, Jazzy. Oh, God. Nico first woke up here in this world. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically and can continue later, but don't be alarmed. But now is no time for rest. Okay, so every once in a while I need to rest. That's good to know. Uh, I think it's kind of weird that it uses my Steam name to talk to me. Uh, it's a little unsettling, uh, to be sure. But I guess that's what it is. Okay, I guess we're just continuing going north. Oh, the air up here is unbreathable. Okay, we probably need to get like a gas mask or something, right? All right, so let's go this way. We can. Let's look at the can, can we? Does not. Oh, do we talk to this guy? Oh, it's like a dead robot. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there's lots of places that we could, tr like, there's just a lot of robots all over the place, and they're all deactivated or broken. And uh, oh, oh, poor robot. So I'm pretty sure that's where we came from. Yeah, this looks very familiar. We went up north, and we went up as far as we could go, which wasn't that far, honestly. Okay, here's another robot. Oh, what's this? Oh! Ah! That light bulb! You are here! Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbly by your presence. Yes. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Alright, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask you how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh! So you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes! You are the savior we've been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from the eternal darkness. Oh, um... I will provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Well, can you tell me about... Oh, I guess we'll just start with, uh, this light bulb. I found it in this house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new son. Your son? Yes. Years ago, our previous son sat atop the tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of the world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, these elements stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its in energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will die too. But now that you're here with the new sun, all is well. You'll need to restore it to the tower. <laughs> it looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Well, that's, um... That's pretty butts. Um, can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always so dim, nor was it broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barrens. The tower that you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what that tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map in the outpost somewhere. Can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, Your action here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Jazzy. That's interesting. Jazzy? Oh, that would be our god. Oh, okay, good. I'm just a god now. All right, I'm, I'm cool with that. If you are here, that means Jazzy is here also. Jazzy would provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. What? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Jazzy yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, we have the sacred ability to communi communicate directly with Jazzy. An ability that no one else passes possesses. Certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. Close your eyes, Nico. Hello? Jazzy, are you there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Very interesting. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Jazzy. This is incredible. 
<laughs> do not be afraid to ask Jazzy for assistance. I like how it's just, oh yeah, our god Jazzy. It's cool. Um, can you tell me about going home? I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save the world, just as I, my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. That's too bad. All right, well, we talked to the robot. All right, so I wish you luck. Okay, I'm gonna go in here, buddy. Here's another computer. All right, that one won't turn on. Uh, I'm guessing all these robots are um, powered by, uh, like, solar? Self-charging solar battery. Yeah, solar. Once one year warranty included, simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no eternal power needed. Uh, if the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front of the side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice the decline in your charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Okay, so, um... I wish you had something to pry it open. You have a metal rod, dum-dum. Oh. We'll need to flatten it. Oh, okay. Okay. Dusty shelves. All right. Cool. So we're, we're, we're making progress now. I'm very happy about that. What's this? One, a robot may not injure a living person or, through interaction, allow a person to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given to it by people except where such orders would conflict with the first law. I like that first law of robotics. All right. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Cool. So robots are our friends. Oh, and here's the map of the world. Okay, so there's a tower. Damn, that tower is big. Like how it's just a straight line out of it. All right, so we're in the Barrens on the outer circle. Uh, there's a river that divides it from the glen and then the refuge. So we're going to be taking a long time to get there.